Going in depth now on the Target 12 investigation, breaking his silence. For the first time in 20 years, a victim of serial child molester Dana Waters is now speaking out. Waters was convicted in 1998 that he molested at least 11 kids. He was sentenced to 27 years, but as we revealed, he's getting out seven years early. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining me now. Tim, you interviewed the victim. How did this come about? Well, Patrick, uh, you probably remember a few weeks ago, we filed a report on Dana Waters. We found a profile in his name on a prisoner dating website. And as you said, Waters is getting out much sooner than most thought because of the state's good time law. Now, the person we sat down with saw that investigation and felt it was just time to come forward. So we altered his appearance and voice. And I'll tell you, it was a powerful interview. Here's a piece of it. Even at 10 years old, I knew that, or I felt that I let this happen you know and I didn't want to let my mom down because I knew that she would feel guilty for sending me there so you said he decided to come forward after seeing the story yep. that could not have been an easy decision for him no it wasn't but but look this was a very high profile story at the time it was in the late 1990s the survivor wanted the people in this community to know the crimes didn't define him and he wanted Dana Waters himself to hear from one of his victims so he knows that these survivors have moved beyond him and the terrible things that he did now as you uncovered Waters profile was on a website for inmates to seek relationships how did the victim you interviewed react to that well as you can imagine he was appalled right. but the main thing that bugged him wasn't that he had a profile but what was written on it it says that waters is in for a quote sex offense and as he points out i think accurately it wasn't a sex offense it was multiple and sex offense doesn't quite capture what happened he thinks it should read child molestation this is interesting. I reached out to the website that has Waters' profile, and they say the inmate decides how to post their crime. And if someone wants to change it, they say go talk to the prison, which I think seems odd since the ACI has nothing to do with these sites, but that's what they said. All right. Thank you, Tim. Target 12 investigator Tim White. If you missed the investigation breaking his silence, you can watch it right now online. Just go to WPRI.com.